Artistic Gamer 7 and welcome back to another Pokemon 2 cast video. So this one actually is going to have two lovely characters in it, though they are characters that are connected, obviously. If you've played the Pokemon games, you will understand. Today we are going to be turning Melsery and Alcremi into Sims. I'm not sure if I'm saying Melsery right, but I'm really bad at pronouncing some of these Pokemon names, so just be prepared. I try my best, but sometimes I fail. But anyway, so yeah. So we are doing those two today. You should be seeing their respective images during when their sim is being created. First, we actually have Alcremie, which is actually the final evolution in this evolution chain. So this is a double evolution chain, and for people who don't play Pokemon, you probably at least get, know the whole evolution thing. For example, the most popular one is Pikachu, so there's Pichu, Pikachu, and Raichu. Um, so those, you know, those, that's an evolution chain. With this particular one, there's only two, which is not uncommon, I will say. Um, and I, these two are actually new to Gen 8, which is the Sword and Shield generation. I have a really hard time mixing Sword and Shield and Sun and Moon up, just because the first word both start with s <laughs> so sometimes i'm just i might go mean to go say sword and shield and i say sun and moon and sometimes i mean to say sun and moon and i say short, sword and shield <laughs> so i almost said sun and moon there but i caught myself but then i decided to explain how i almost said sun and moon but you know that's just my brain <laughs> but yeah so they are new to they are new to the new the pokemon world and i will say when i seen mel Suri for the first time I was like, okay, this thing is absolutely adorable. Sort of strange looking, but adorable. And you'll notice when it gets to Melsery that there's like, looks like it's almost like splashing of water and it's got these like little things going around the top of the head. In the actual game, those individually will act like a drop every once in a while, so it goes around in a circle. But we are not worried about Melsery right now. We are actually with Alcremi. I did Alcremi first just because I really like Alcremi, but one thing I didn't think about when I chose to do both of these characters is actually in the game, depending on what, there's certain items you give to Melsery and you give them to them and you spin in different directions in game while you're walking around and depending on which direction you're spinning. Sometimes I think it's also the time of day, if I remember correctly, or how long you spin. <laughs> like, there's multiple outcomes to actually for Alcremi. It's still the same Pokemon and all that goodness, but it could look differently in its final evolution, depending on all these different things. I am mainly going after, after the one that they mainly use to show Alcremie off, which is the one that you will be seeing down in the bottom left corner there, which is the one that you give like the little strawberry thing to, and I think it's the first spin you do, like spin to the, like clockwise, I think, maybe, <laughs> I don't remember, but yeah, anyway, so this is the one that they mainly use to uh, represent Alcremie, it's also the plushy version that they sent off, which I actually have the plushy, which is adorable, um, so I was mainly going after that one, which it's got this really strange tone to it that it's like cream with like iridescent pink mixed into it and all that, like it's definitely some really pretty colors going on. So yeah, it's sort of really a hard color to sort of describe, but I did the best I could. I went more towards the pink side of it just because sort of the vibe I was going for, I think the peak sort of fit. Sadly, I didn't have anything like strawberry looking to try to put on her head or anything like that. So I was trying, I was going in between like certain headbands that had red as an option, like different hat options that had red to try to figure out which one I thought sort of went with the vibe that I was trying to go for her. And I was definitely going for like sweet, adorable sort of type vibes. But if you notice, I've already actually gave her traits by then. So I usually mean to give them their traits before I actually do the crate of sim so that you can sort of see what their traits are because I picked their traits based off of the actual Pokemon. 
or at least try my best to anyway and I did give her the family oriented trait <laughs> um, that's gonna go I'm gonna talk about that a little bit more later but you might have already guessed why it's there if you paid attention to the thumbnail but anyway so yeah as for her I did want to give her like a long dress like thing because Al Creamy is basically just one big giant cream puff like thing <laughs> but I felt like a dress would most accurately accurately represent the whole flow of things so I definitely wanted to give her like a really pretty cute dress I do eventually find one of the longer dresses which I was looking at short and long there was certain things about short dresses that I sort of liked I liked the ones that had like the really um, poofed out skirt bottom for the short dresses because it sort of looked cute and sort of had a vibe to it but I also liked the long ones because the fact that it did cover like the whole body and the fact that the cream is actually laying across the ground I thought that made more sense for like a long dress so that was the main two options but I was also really trying to find anything that had strawberry the only thing that did have strawberry though is a swimsuit which would be fine for her swimsuit and I would probably if I played her in my main save or like for some sort of challenge maybe even I would definitely give her the swimsuit, the strawberry swimsuit, as an option um, for her swimsuit because at least it had strawberries and that was what I was looking for, but I couldn't find anything else strawberry-wise. Maybe, maybe like one day I'll just go CC shopping for strawberry stuff if I decide to use her in something. <laughs> but otherwise, so that was partially why it took me a while with her dress was just because. I was trying different things but I was also really trying to find strawberry related stuff or something that even remotely looked like a strawberry and I could just be like yeah pretend this is a strawberry guys this is totally totally strawberry but then I did come across this dress which had peak and it has this sort of almost rose gold like a very pale light rose gold color I guess it's sort of a close way to describe the color of Al Creamy that we are going for here and it sort of had that color it's a little bit darker than Al creamy like if you the bottom of the dress if it was lightened up a little bit more it'd be perfect coloring but I thought it was pretty amazing and it definitely sort of had like this pretty cute little vibes going on to it and the fact that I did shows a flower headband on top of her head and even around her neck I think it's a little flower was very fitting that this dress also had flowers on it so I thought overall it was fitting I think she turned out beautiful I love her and I do actually potentially want to use her for something but that could be said for a lot of my Pokemon sins not all of them but a lot of them but anyway now you actually see why I gave her the family oriented trait this is Mel Melsory I decided because how small Melsory is and even comparison to Al Creamy, even though Al Creamy is not really that big, but compared to Melsory, and just in general, Melsory has this very cutesy baby vibe almost. And I'd actually really never done a create a sim with toddlers other than what challenge was it? It was a challenge with the toddlers where like you try to make the toddlers absolutely I forget what it was called though. But you try to make the toddlers like absolutely 100% adorable and cute and you don't ever turn them into an adult sim while doing this. You don't keep in mind what the adult sim might turn out. You're just trying to go for cute toddler. Then you turn it to adult and see what happens. Because for some reason it's a real dramatic change between toddler and adult quite a bit. Like the slow, slow progression of turning to a child and a teen. I think sometimes your life choices, also how you play your sims, sometimes can edit some things as well of how they look. Because I've had sims where like I made them as an adult and I young like put them younger to put them in my main save and they look slightly different from then in their adult phase. So I think like things also can sometimes impact that. But yeah, anyway, <laughs> I never really do toddlers in create a sim stuff. And I definitely had not done one for the um pokemon one like i can't remember a single one in series one that was toddlers i rarely did children in series one but i did have a few uh, i did do a few children like for the pokemon i know like plusle and minin were kids i did jirachi as a kid um 
feel like there was at least one other one. Oh, Marsh Marshadow. He was a kid. So I did do some kids like in Creative Sims, but I didn't actually do toddlers. And I was like, you know what? This is almost like a perfect opportunity to try to make a toddler. Now toddlers don't have nearly as much for them, CC and non-CC wise, ex at least in my game. And I don't really see stuff for toddlers as quite as much. But yeah, so I loved how adorable he turned out too. And I think they are adorable together. So I really actually enjoyed doing this. I did something different with the whole toddler thing, but I think it really fit for Alcremie and Melsory, and it's honestly one of the happiest outcomes that I think I've had because I love both of them so much. Uh, definitely let me know down in the comments below how you think you turned out. Do you like them? Do you wish to maybe see them do something more? One of the things that I could think I could do with her is just, you know, the theme with how Alchemy is, is maybe do, maybe go back and try the 100 baby challenge or something like that. I don't know. But let me know down in the comments your thought about Alcremie and Melsory here. I love them. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that lovely like button, subscribe, and have the little notification bell turned on so that you don't miss any future videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.